hello all uh, welcome to all about sap in this video we are going to see how to call configure sales deal which comes under sales and distribution module so for that go to spro scroll look for sales and distribution and then go to basic functions and then rising if you come to pricing in this we see all this condition technique and then you see this option pricing agreements click on that and then you see one more option here set up sales deals click on that so first we are going to define a similarly how we have a document type so same we are going to do first configure the sales deal type which we are going to use so select the first one you see we have a standard uh, 0020 sales deal so this i am going to copy and then make it as z020 and then you see this options sales deals and then cap sales and distribution uh, you can change it option whenever you are defi defining a new condition record and then uh, valid from and to sorry not condition record sales deal valid from and to it fetches the is going to be either uh, year contract or year agreement so based on that you can define here and then release status for uh, i will put default as a which means so whenever I create an order, it will not by default release. So it will put on a block. Once it, uh, I can give, give propose it for like give it for approval, then it will release to release this configured uh, sorry maintained condition records. So I'm putting a default A, press enter, and then save. Okay, then back and then we have defined a sales deal types now assign this number range for that click on this double click on this and go to groups maintain groups click on that and you see this here which is a non assign element click on that select elements and then select 0 1 so whichever the number ranges you maintain so based on that you can assign it here one okay now it's assigned which which is under standard number ranges so go back now we are done with defined types so we will go to this next step so you see this condition type groups so the concept here is we have to create a group and then we are going to put some condition types in that group so based on that it will ask for like options it will provide as options which all the condition type values we can maintain in that condition type in that group so got it right so first we'll define a group and then we add that group uh, to condition tables and then the condition table will be assigned to whatever the deal uh, deal type we have created that we will do so first define a condition type group so here what i'm going to do is uh, i will take one zpr0 base price you can see and then if it is a blank then it is rebate related settlement and then if it is a it's related to the pricing agreements so maintain a and then sell press enter then save now assign condition types to the group so we are uh, here we are going to maintain our 
just now we created group and then condition type and then the condition table so go to new address we have created yes we got uh, Here we can maintain condition type. So I'm going to take standard condition type PR00. Here we need to, if we have a multiple uh, condition table, so we'll go into use counter one uh, so that it, uh, we are not doing any duplicate records here. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, so first I'm going to maintain this 305 and also other options I can maintain. to PR00 and then yes 306 press enter and then click on save so similarly what we can do is we can club we can use discount condition types whichever you want to go for a pro, uh, you, you have a contract with the customer and then you want to take approval who is a pricing manager or whoever is responsible so this this configuration help us to help us to follow a certain procedure we'll create a deal and then it goes for approval then once it is approved then the condition records maintained in that sales deals will get valid and then that will be determined in the sales order yes click on save go back and then this last step assign condition type groups so we have created zpa sorry agreement type right z020 so you see here we are created zpr0 press enter done the last step so now what we are going to do is we are going to create a one sales deal so for that go to easier uh, okay logistics and then sales and distribution master data you see here agreements that option and then sales deal tico for sales deal creation is vb21 so click on that it will ask what is the sales deal type so currently it has taken default so i'm going to use z0 okay and then press you see whatever the sales deals configuration we have maintained that we can see here you can uh, leave that blank and then we can give some description here like base price deal and then you can give some external description testing for me and then payment terms everything you can maintain then you can see this option right condition click on this conditions you see whatever the condition table we maintain we can see here so select this first one and click on choose uh, I'm, I'm following this sales organization and distribution channel and I will be using this customer So my material is steel underscore hundred hundred mm. And then price I will do some some like ninety nine thousand. 
yes whatever the sales deal validity we maintain that we can see here uh, by default if we maintain uh, directly in week 11 these values will go to 999 but these are values are based on our sales deal validity so then go back then you can maintain multiple conditions if you want no i uh, i'm done with my so i have maintained this and then click on cancel and then click on save it's asking existing validity so, so i have created 91 for testing so i want that to override then done it's created one sales deal here so i have sales deal and then i haven't released it still it's under block so let us see how system will create order if sales deal is not available click on that Still 100 mm quantity 5 you see values are 0 let us go to conditions and check in analysis why those values are determined yes I can see the record but still you see here this condition record determined has a release status here which means block so it's still not released so once it is released it should be determining in sales order so just go back go back to our sales deal yes 92 is a sales deal go to here this release status is the right uh, make it blank see you see the warning message here information sorry uh, release status of all condition records in the agreement was changed so whatever the condition records you maintain in this sales deal so all those status will be changed to release status click on save now let's get back to sales order and then see if you get the same error we can see the values or not yes we can see now you can see the values are determined so same sales deal we can use for like fright um, sorry uh, for conditions base price any anything we can use which we, uh, business want to follow a release process so I hope you learned something here don't forget to subscribe and like thank you